Welcome back to Good Day. For joining us today. Thank you for having us. Of course, of course. Well, before you t uh, start telling us about the ASSIST training, tell us about Save Sin Law and what ASSIST stands for. Um, Save Sin Law is a nonprofit. We do um, mental health awareness, suicide prevention through events, media, and education. So the education portion is um, we, we utilize a program called ASSIST. It stands for Applied Suicide Intervention Skills Training, and it teaches people how to help someone who may be thinking about suicide, not just recognize, but how to get that person to want to get help and how to create a safe plan that is tailored to them to where they want to get help. And now this training can uh, be applied for people just in everyday life. When we, right. yes, when we created um, Save Sin Law, when we found ASSIST, we were, we were really focused on the community, people who would come first come in contact with someone who is struggling in silence and not asking for help. So, um, but it grew to be more than that. We train professionals, you know, uh, mental health professionals. They can get 12 continuing education hours for it. Um, the, the nursing department, they can get CEUs if they, if they um, seek from the board. Um, we train law enforcement educators, um, just clergy, just any moms and dads um, that were those are part of the community. But we train now um, students in the classroom 16 years and up. So um, if someone from a school district is listening and they would like us to come to your school and train your students 16 years and up, we would be happy to do that. Um, the Central we work, we partner with many people. The Central Louisiana Human Services District is our main long lasting um, partner and they have just been tremendous. You know, we, we are able to offer it for free. It's not a free program at all, but um, they allow us to be able to offer it for free, them and, and all of our sponsors that come with it. So that's fantastic. Yes. It is. And what a great resource too for people in the community to be able to learn how to handle a, a hard situation like this too. Right. Um, so um, we have trained people. They left saying, you know, this has been, this has given me hope because I didn't know what to do anymore. Or this has been healing because maybe they were struggling um, with the loss of a suicide or maybe they were struggling themselves. So it, it is really, it helps all the way around. If someone is struggling and not reaching out for help, it helps them realize, hey, it's okay to not be okay. It's, it's, kind of, it's imperative to ask for help. Just like if you have some other physical you know, pain because mental health is a pain too, you know, if they're struggling. But if they have physical pain, they are more readily able to or willing to go seek help. Um, but mental health, we kind of, because of our culture, we just kind of, we were taught to, you know, shake it off, you'll get over it, you know, things like that. And, and you know, it's okay to, to ask for help. It's okay to struggle. So. Right. And this isn't just for mental health professionals or nurses like you said even those kids who are 16 and older in the high schools who might just want to know about this because what happens or what do they do if they have a friend who talks about this right so a suicide is the second leading cause of death in that age group um, 132 people die at, per day in the United States to suicide. 16 are veterans. Um, I believe you're going to be speaking to some people from the VA today, and we, we partner with them also. Um, but those, those students, it's the second leading cause of death. And so to envision them knowing how to help, you know, if it happens to them or their future uh, dorm, you know, um, mate or um, their future colleague or their first time family you know that's a big struggle but then re rearing their children to kind of lift that stigma so those children just grow up seeing mental health as they see physical health and and they are okay to 
to reach out for help. And so it's kind of, hopefully it'll become a dogma and we won't even be needed anymore. <laughs> right, right, a, a cycle that just right. keeps on giving. Right. Okay, so how do we get involved if we are interested in learning more about doing an assist training? Go to our website, savesinlaw.com, go under the assist training, and there are so many different uh, workshops that we have scheduled. Um, we are going to, um, where are we going? We're training the LC students um, oh, wow. this this week, and then next week we're going to Kinder in Allen Parish, and then we're going to Baton Rouge, and we're training the first responders in Louisiana, and then it's our walk. Uh, so we ha and then and then we have lots of trainings after that, especially in the high schools and um, different parishes. I think we have um, one scheduled in Sin Law, in in every parish in Sin Law, and and beyond. So um, throughout, well. You know, it through, I think February 2024. So, and y'all have an upcoming uh, walk into the light. Uh, tell us about that and how people can get involved if they would like to come out. Well, that is our big event. Mainly, it was for awareness. You know, to get people to know it's okay to not be okay, and kind of you know, a, a, a gathering of community. You know, support. Uh, and um, it's also a fundraiser too, but mostly it's an awareness walk. And um, you can register as a team or you can come as a team. You can come as an individual and um, its registration is on, is, is the day of. We'll have people walking around, our CLTCC students walking around, helping people register. Um, if you wanna donate to your team, you can do that. Um, the pers the team who raises the most money will be uh, in the paper with along with our, our 5k and also on our sponsor banner we cre create a, an annual sponsor banner to bring with us throughout our endeavors you know every every workshop that we train we um, take a picture of the 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 the, the group <laughs> with our banner just to, to show our sponsors that you know we're putting their money to good use so um, anyway um, so they can they if they want a, a shirt we have a shirt I don't know if you have a, a picture of it it's it's violent it's it's violet this year with the turquoise riding you know for, for our event shirt into the light walk that's what we call ourselves or the walk and um, if you would like to pre-order, go to uh, or email me at savesinla at yahoo.com. Everything is Save Sinla. But our email <laughs> is um, at, at yahoo.com. And just tell me your shirt sizes, and then you can go to our website. And if you want to prepay, and just press donate and donate the, uh, the monies to, to our website. Fantastic. Well, Angela, thank you so much for coming on the show, telling us all about this great program that you'll have to help train and, of course, the upcoming walk. We appreciate it so much. Well, thank you very much. Of course. And we'll be right back with Market Day Sun Law right after this break.